So how often have you gone out flying with your drone or shooting on location, maybe at the beach or some mountain or somewhere exciting, and you want to back up your footage or you want to at least dump your cards, but you don't want to have to haul a laptop around with you. So ideally what you would like is a self-powered hard drive that's able to ingest all that media. Well, guess what? That now exists right here. And I'm going to be reviewing it and telling you all about it right now. <laughs> So just recently, Lacy sent me their latest drive. It's the DJI Copilot, and you can see it right here. Well, what is this? Well, what it is is basically it's a 2,000 gigabyte or a two terabyte hard drive, which is also powered and has a brain in here, so I can actually take my cards and download my footage into this particular drive. It's uh, got a design which is kind of similar or it's actually inspired by the Rugged Drive, same company that makes these, Lacy. And it's got this nice rubber bumper around here. And it's dust and water resistant and also drop resistant. And if you look at the front here, there's this little part that just kind of tears open to reveal what's inside. And if we look in here, there's a couple of different things. First of all, there's two ways to get media in. You'll notice that there's an SD card reader and it also comes with this little adapter so you can put a micro SD card inside there and you can take your footage there from your drone or your GoPro or whatever it is that you're using it uses the micro SD or you can take your SD card from your camera or your other devices it also has the option here to connect through USB you can actually connect directly to your drone your camera your device or if you have a card such as a you know CFast or a, a CF card you can actually just plug a card reader into here as well. And also, there's some other options on here if we want to connect it. If you look at the cable here, it actually just connects into the back and it actually just wraps around the body like this. It's a little groove here and we can just put it inside that groove. And one of the things I like at the end here has a little magnetic thing, so it just kind of pops and sits in there. Okay, so it comes with a cable for lightning. It also comes one with USB-C and also a micro USB, so you can connect to all types of phones and tablets. All right, so let's have a look at how this actually works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert our card. Then we're going to see this little button. There's one button on the back, and this is called a action button. So if we just tap it once, we'll see that the screen is going to show us how much space we've got left and how much battery. There's also a little racetrack design around the edge that shows how full it is. Now, if we push this button again or push it twice, we have the option to copy. And what that means is if I just do a short press now, it's going to reboot into copy mode, and it's going to copy all the footage off that card onto the drive. If I don't want to do that, I'll just do a long press for cancel. And it's that simple. Short press is OK, long press is cancel, so everything works on that single button. All right, once everything is loaded onto this drive, there's a couple of different things we can do with it. We can plug in our mobile device, which I'm going to do right now with my iPhone. OK, so we're going to tap on the Copilot BOSS app. And BOSS stands for Backup Onset Solution. So right now we see we've got three options. We can do our Lacy DJI Copilot. We can go into our iPhone and actually browse through the app. Or we can do SD or USB. Now if I plug in an SD card in a second, that will light up. Okay, so now we can see that we can even go through the app. We can choose to copy the files or not copy them. But we can actually browse the SD card directly here through the uh, Copilot app. Um, we could also, if it was a USB device connected, such as a camera or something like that, we could view it in there. But let's look at the Lacy DJI Copilot section. So if we look under here, he has our backups, and we go under, and these are the photos that I've copied over. So we get the first one here. I can see here's some raw files here from my drone. If you go back in there, we can go through all of these, and we can even hit video. So if we want to play a video in there, look at that. The video actually works, and we can view that through the app. 
So let's just go back a little bit here. I'm going to go into a different folder. So here we go. We've got raw files here from a Canon camera. You know, so these are videos from the Canon. If we want to watch those, we can see those right here. And here we have a bunch of raw files. Some photos here that I've shot on my DJI drone. So some different options we could do here. We could share them if we want to put them on social media or whatever, directly off the card or off the drive. Uh, we can move these to a different location or we can copy them to a different location. We can click on info and this will give me my metadata. And there's the photo there, there's the metadata. And I shot that on a Mavic Pro. And of course we can also, you know, can rename or delete them directly from the drive. So that's what we can do on the mobile app. And then when you get back to the studio and you want to copy this onto your RAID or your backup array or into your computer, all you do is just simply take the included USB-C cable and there's two of them. There's one for USB-C to USB-C, which works on the, you know, the new MacBook Pros. And then of course there's another one, USB-C to USB 3 so you can connect to any computer. Simply plug it in and then just navigate it like you would any other hard drive. So a couple of things I want to mention about this too is that this actually charges up pretty quickly. It comes with an included charger here and we can just plug that in. It also comes with all the different charging adapters so if you're traveling we can actually just slot the different ones in there and you can go to different countries and you're going to have power. Now once this is charged up it's good for about 800 gigabytes of uh, transfer. So the other thing you can do is when you plug your phone or your tablet in here, your phone or tablet is actually going to use this as a battery and it's actually going to charge your devices. Now, if you're copying data and you're low on power, you can also plug into that USB port and use an external battery, which will also power this. But personally, I'm quite excited about this because, you know, I like to go to places like the beach. I like to go up rivers and different places like that where I'm with my drone. So sometimes I'm hiking around rocks and different things like that. And I definitely don't want a laptop in my backpack. So I can just take this um, DJI Copilot with me now, just drop it in my camera bag. And then when I'm flying, when I land, I can pull the card out put it in here, start the ingest, put a new card in my drone and I'm up flying again and I can just kind of leave this uh, loading up the card and I don't have to worry about my footage being backed up. Then when I'm done, I can actually connect this to my mobile phone and I can look and find maybe a photo or two or maybe a little video clip that I like and I can share that on social media immediately. Then when I get back home or back to my hotel, I can take this footage and I can take it off here onto my computer. Now here's another thing that comes with this. This comes with a full 30 days of Adobe Creative Cloud. So that means if you don't have Creative Cloud, you can be using all the apps, you know, such as Photoshop, Premiere Pro, After Effects, and uh, you can be playing around with those and using those applications for a full month. So for me right now, I'm actually just getting ready to head off to a trip to Hawaii very soon. I'm definitely going to be taking this with me and I'm super excited because all I'm going to need now is my drone and this, I can leave everything else at the hotel. So anyway, I encourage you guys to check it out. I'll put a link underneath where you guys can see it. Oh, by the way, the price in the US is $349 and um, that's American dollars. And uh, yeah, so check it out guys. And if you like these kind of videos, hit that subscribe button right now. Um, because I upload a new tutorial or review at least once or twice a week. If you like this video, smash that like button into dust. Don't forget to tell all your friends about it. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.